i have been married for 16 years and i have three kids so in my life whenever there is a problem uh, my husband will not solve the issue instead he will uh, just uh, uh, send me my home and will not call me uh, he will not take the expenses for one year or more than that and he will come back after one year year after that he will come back and we will return like to the normal life this already happened three times in my life and i felt more worthless and i don't want to be burden for my family so i went with him and right now i am in the same situation and i am in uae and he is in india now and for five months he is not calling me he yeah, is not taking uh, he is not taking the expense or nothing like that uh, as we are having a rental agreement for uh, uh, before two months uh, he just did that and alhamdulillah i have got a courage uh, to do the online classes and i'm i'm little bit earning for my ourselves for me and my children and for to uh, for two months i am taking the complete expenses of my family and this time i didn't made an at any attempt to call him yeah to convince him so everyone are blaming me like uh, uh, i am not taking the responsibility like i am not calling him or i am not convincing his family so it i like it is like a mental torture for me and i want to know that i am a sinful sheikh yeah uh, for not calling him yeah i am afraid that if it happens again yeah if i call him that i am afraid that it will happen again so she can you give me any, any advice that uh, what should i do okay first of all such issues are not solved in a q and a on tv and this is why we have counseling sessions but in counseling sessions i can listen to more details i can ask you more questions and maybe we have to sit and talk to the husband himself this is not possible here so i'll give you the sequence this usually works number 1 you've been married for 16 years with three kids and he has done this three times possibilities for me as a counselor number 1 is that he is an evil person he doesn't fear allah maybe he's a mummy's boy so his mom says to him send her home and he does that and there are lots especially from the subcontinent unfortunately who are not real men they don't have a spine so whatever mama says to them or baba says to them they will do it immediately in this case this is a different scenario number 2 maybe he did this because as a victim you come on live tv you talk to me and the sheikh is soft hearted and he cries with you and he say hey, the poor thing not knowing that she's the villain and the poor victim is the man when you speak to the man and this is what i usually do and the man says things that whoa see when you listen to one party you make a mistake so i listen to you and i say well your husband needs to be hanged but when i listen to him and he refutes what you said and explains his position with evidences i said your wife should stand in front of a firing squad and when they both sit together and i listen to him and to her at the same time while they're exposing each one's reality 50% of what he said goes down the drain 50% or more of what she said goes down the drain because now there's someone to rectify or to to say or falsify what their other party is saying so i have to listen to his side of the story let us assume because this is not a, a counseling session let us assume everything you said was right that he's a mummy's boy he doesn't fear allah he doesn't provide for you or your children he sends you to your parents house for 6 months and sometimes for a year until you beg and patch things up this is not a real man him not providing for you and for your children is a legitimate reason to go for divorce but would we encourage women to go for divorce sometimes he's the best of the two evils not the worst so if she were to be divorced she would not have anyone to provide for her which is the case at the moment or she would not have a shelter or a house to take her in with her children so she would be forced to do heinous things so some women we say it's like cancer you have to live with it until he dies then you will inherit him inshallah other than that i cannot help you because his parents are as evil as he is and this guy as i said he's spineless so this is your test from allah 
Sometimes a woman is, no, capable and financially independent. Why would you stay with such a wimp? Someone who treats you like trash, if what you're saying is true. See, all of these things are a cocktail, depending on the situation, which I'm unable to determine at the moment. So this is your choice. This is your life. Now, am I sinful for not calling him? If you're not the uh, oppressor, if you're not the wrongdoer, why would I call him if he treats me like this? I'm giving him an alibi. I'm giving him an excuse to repeat and do this every time he doesn't feel good or he doesn't like what I do. So is this a kind of a life? Is this a marriage? No, it's not. And believe me, Allah would not leave him alone. If you're listening to me, I, I doubt you listen to some sheikh from Saudi Arabia like myself, especially the one who insults men when they're wrongdoing. But if you were listening to me, wallahi, Allah will not leave you alone. You can do whatever you want to this woman and to your children. You can oppress them like hell. No, no problem in that. Go ahead. Don't ever think for a moment that Allah is going to leave you alone. It's coming. If it did not come yet, wait for it. Wait for it and it will come. But when the wrath of Allah comes, you would have wished that you would not have ever done such a thing to your wife and to your children. So may Allah make things easy for you.